when I see the full thing or like, you know, however much of it I end up seeing, I'm probably going to enjoy seeing it. And that, and it makes me think about like my best frame of reference. Cause I have not spent almost any time in my life learning about like how poly amorous <clears throat> people work or anything like that. But when I was at, the AVN Awards back in January, there was a couple of different dudes who came up to me with their wives or girlfriends and said, hey, if you ever have time or you're ever down, I would love for you to fuck my wife. Mm-hmm. And I'm just kind of like, like, okay, like that's wild. Like, I, you know, I, I didn't even take it serious or anything like that. But I understand what those guys are thinking. They have watched me in porn or whatever. They've watched you in porn and they would love to like just see their girl inserted into that environment. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just seeing you like looking like a glamorous porn star on camera with a very well-known professional. It's not the worst thing in the world to me. I'm not, I'm not super mad about it. And then I feel like it's kind of allowed me to even just embrace the fact that like, yeah, in prior situations, even with you, I've fucked girls with one of my friends and that was okay. But because it's a girl who I don't have a real relationship with, but now I'm kind of like, well, why the fuck do I care? Especially as a porn person, you know, it's like, why would it be such a big deal? If I enjoy it with a girl that I don't give a fuck about, what is the point of me not doing that with the girl that I'm married to? It's not like an inherently degrading or disrespectful thing, right? I mean, as long as you're consenting, I mean, and you're, you know, you're turned on by it and the girl's turned on by it, clearly. So it's like... Well, clearly you're turned on. Yeah, I'm talking about myself as You're not shying away from this whole double team thing that I'm proposing here, are you? No, (laughs) not at all. (laughs) I actually have uh, some pictures of positions I'd like to try with you in my phone. See, that's one thing that I was thinking when we started talking about it is like, okay, if we're going to do this double team scene, what are the positions? Because I need to make sure that this dude's dangler ain't like too close to my face or anything. Well, I don't think we should do it the first time, but I would like to be DP'd by you and someone else. So the butt and the vagina. Yeah. Well, I see. Okay, right there. Boom. Jealousy triggered because we haven't had anal in like a year. <laughs> okay. And you're going to say, oh, it's because last time we tried to do an anal scene, you came in like four minutes. So okay, you're so. like, well, actually, I wasn't going to say well, that. <laughs> well, you could be the guy in my butt. Would you still be jealous? <laughs> I just don't really like love the idea of my balls clapping against another dude's balls. I think you'll get so into it, you'll forget and you won't care. Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely like not totally off limits in my mind, but. I'm not saying it's the first thing I want to do, but like we've had so many girls on Plug Talk where you're like, what's your favorite thing? And they're like, DP. You yeah. think anal feels good? You think vaginal feels good? Wait till you try them together. But you have a sensitive butthole. That's, just, that's why we haven't been engaging with it so much, right? Like, I, I, I don't I know. I just hate prep for anal. That's literally all it is. I like anal. I hate preparing for anal. Because you have to eat gummy bears for a whole day before. You have to or starve whatever. yourself. Yeah. You have to clean out your butthole. Right. You know, it's it's a whole thing. And right. then every time, I for some reason, I get a cut or I bleed no matter what. And then I, you know, I have a problem for a week after. But you know, it's just part of doing it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I'm not exactly horrified by the idea. But that's also one thing that uh, I've realized is that. Even if I really didn't like the idea of you fucking another dude on camera, I mean, being in the porn business, it would just be insane for me to say no to it at this point, or at least this one scene, you know, like doing more is kind of its own separate conversation. But, you know, the financial, the the (laughs) financial rewards have been so absurd that it's kind of like, well, we're in business together. Like you gotta. gotta Yeah. And I mean, at some point it's like. My fans were just kind of like your content's getting dry at this point. Like you haven't done anything new. And Mm -hmm. so for me, yes, it was exciting financially and it was exciting to have a new sexual experience. But it's also like I'm kind of excited for work just because there's like new things I could do for my fans to keep them interested. People, this woman is obsessed with her OnlyFans analytics. No. So she is more turned on by seeing the numbers go up than no. anything else, probably. I am turned on that there is like many, many, many thousands of people out there who are waiting for July 13th mm-hmm. to sit down and download or watch this video or whatever and jerk off to it. That is hot to me. Just thinking about the, le- the legions of gooners who are just yes. posted up waiting they for it. They can jerk off to anyone. They could find a Lun of the Plug lookalike and jerk off to her. No, they want to jerk off to me and my weird vagina. <laughs> <laughs> weird? I don't know. Your fans, How dare you? Your fans love to say it's weird. I think it's nice. I mean, you better think it's nice. It's, your, it's yours. You bought oh, it. It's a good looking vagina. <laughs> I didn't buy it. It came that way. Um, okay. So what else do they want to know? People probably want to know what is it hard to go back to a, you know, reasonably sized white penis after dealing with a, a baby arm? <laughs> 
is it upsetting? No. Is it is it hard to go back to regular life? So first of all, I wouldn't say that yours is regular. I would say yours is definitely like above average. So let's yes. give you that. Yes. Every time we take your pants off on Plug Talk, the girls like, oh, I'm surprised. You but know? for a white guy. For they don't say for that. A they don't say that, but they're thinking that. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Someone called you boyfriend, good boyfriend dick once. And I feel like that was a good compliment because nobody wants like an outrageously large penis all the time. Right. Um, it wasn't hard to come back to your dick. I was in a lot of pain for a few days. Mm -hmm. So having sex was, you know, it was reupholstered. You're you were a little traumatized by me being like, ouch, hold on. At first. Yeah. <laughs> but that did go away pretty quickly. It took like three or four days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you feel like it snapped back? Well, you never had the natural birth that you I, were planning I, on. I don't believe that vag a vagina stretches from having sex once for 40 minutes with a bigger dick. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes I look at the buttholes of the girls that we work with that I know have had like dread or whoever in their asshole, and I'm like, those dicks are doing damage. Okay, but the the asshole's not meant to stretch like this big. The vagina is meant to stretch and you go back. You should see some of the shits I've taken over the years. No, I don't want to. Like a straight jack-o'-lantern hitting the toilet <laughs> water. <laughs> All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. And you know what that means. That means you got to subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K. Let's go.